everyone, it's the streamer Simone here and today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me to show you how I came up with this entire look going on here. I'm so excited because this is like one of my real official chit chat get ready with me like doing makeup and all of that. So I'm just going to be talking, it's going to be real chill and all of that. So um, I hope that you enjoy it and let's get into it. All right, so I look crazy. I haven't did a get ready with me in like forever someone requested it and i'm like why not i'm actually about to just get ready to film a video i have a sponsorship video to film so i'm like why not so my hair i had straightened it for the gender reveal dinner and this is how i've been wearing it wrapped but i did sweat out my hair because i've been sick <sighs> mila had the flu then i got sick from her so Lakeith is not sick though. My brother was sick, my sister's not sick, my mom's not sick. So I don't know if Mila got it from school or if somebody was like getting over something at the gender reveal dinner. So it's just so iffy, I don't know. So this is the best I've felt in um, a couple of days now, right after my birthday passed. The day right after my birthday, I started to not feel good. So I'm just going to be sitting here um, doing uh, my makeup, right? see I sweated out my edges from it being wrapped more than likely I'm gonna style my hair once I do my makeup I guess like after I see how my makeup comes out I don't know um, someone requested a get ready with me like a sit down get ready with me which I thought was so weird because it's like me because I don't even really do my makeup like that but it's funny because I do want to start to get into makeup, like back into makeup. I don't even really have new makeup, but I really want to get into it. Like I want to get back into it. So I'm like, you know what? Let me use this opportunity, right? Um, but I have a lot of outdated makeup <laughs> products right now for my eye rolls. I just used the three dollar Elf pencil in neutral brown, which I really like the Anastasia one. This one. No, is it? No, the benefit. I think I finished it though. Oh no, there's some in here. I guess I'll use this. What is this? I forgot I had it. It was like covered. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> y'all, y'all gotta forgive me. I'm not feeling well, but I'm um, like I have to still do work, right? Um, so I had to force myself. I took some vitamins. I took some vitamin C. I'm gonna try to do my brows on camera. I'm gonna try because we're just gonna be talking and you know your girl could talk so it's just a chill get ready with me so let's see but I have some notes and um yeah so I actually have not washed my makeup brushes don't do that I just washed them for the first time today it started to break my skin out like so much y'all do not be like me. Wash your makeup brushes, okay? Um, because I don't do my makeup often, I just kind of do like a little light makeup, really. Or like if I'm going out. And I think because I don't do my makeup often is why I'm just like, maybe I should zoom in right It's why I'm like, all right, I don't need to wash my makeup brushes and you got to wash your makeup brushes so it and but it broke my skin out basically between using the dirty foundation brush and vomiting my skin broke out um you know right here you could kind of see well no you can't because this product which I'm sure y'all I'm sure y'all know about the Panoxyl goat. So I've been putting it on my face to just sit on my face and then I wash it off after like two minutes. It literally took away whatever break I had and then I popped some blood vessels you could probably see here from vomiting a lot and while being sick with all the cold on my chest, some blood vessels have been popped. This the goat and I use it under my arms too. The goat. Okay, if you're not using the Panoxyl, what are you doing with your life? Because it helps with acne, it helps with um, bacteria. You put it on your under your arms, on your between your toes. If you have some feet issues, um, any hormonal acne, I had like that hormonal rash 
from Mila. When I, after I had her, I've been using it on that. I think it's helping. The only thing, it's a bit drying. So you might gotta follow up with moisturizer like immediately after. And it will bleach out your washcloth or whatever. It's It has like a bleaching agent in it. So um, use like a white washcloth or something like that, right? Um, yeah, so washing my brushes today, let me show you. Mind you, I have a lot more brushes, but I washed a couple here and I feel amazing. Like I've never, haven't seen this brush so white and my beauty blender is so black. It was like brown, okay? Dutty, don't be like me, eh? <laughs> Even after one use, clean your brush. Um, yeah. So I wanna get into makeup more, especially now that I'm getting older, I really wanna get more into makeup and skincare although i have a lot of skincare i'm not gonna lie my skin be popping like <laughs> i'm not being full of myself i'm just saying like my skin be nice but i just want to like broaden my horizon and try like a lot of other brands like i really want to try fenty more fenty skin and i really want to oh that did that mad dark i also want to try some fenty beauty um, I don't want to try like her body butters, especially like it's about this getting cold, right? I want to try more body butters. This is so dark. She got some nice body butters and I'm like being so I want to go to Sephora and get some more stuff. And of course, I like I'll share that with you guys, but I'm so excited for that. And I feel like maybe sitting here on a chill, get ready with me. Uh, would probably like encourage me to do that um, without the pressure you know just I always watch a bunch of makeup tutorials on TikTok and Instagram but I always feel like oh my god I can't do this you know and I get down on myself and I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> but there's just so many products like I want to try I want to try this summer Fridays lip gloss I've been wanting that like, I'm a lip gloss girly. I love lip gloss. Like, I have so many lip glosses. Like, so much. Like, way more than that. Like, I can't even show you right now. Oh, I just got a new Stanley Cup, too, y'all. My mama just got me this. One of my birthday gifts. And I'm so hyped for that. So, yeah. I'm so excited to be trying more and focusing more on my skin i'm more surprised that i'm even getting my brows done on camera right now let's see how this concealer go let's see and i'll be putting a lot of like products in this little caddy too i like to use oops. for my brows i still use the um la girl pro conceal nothing nothing wants to stain my hands but I like to use this still. I don't know, to this day, I still use this. Um, I used to use it under my eyes a long time ago, but it started burning. And then a lot of girls started to say that it was burning under their eyes too. So I just put it, but this medium beige shade, it just matches my skin so perfectly. So I'm just using this e.l.f. concealer brush and I'm gonna use some of that and just go under my eyes. My eyebrows, I mean, and just just clean up, make it precise under here. Like I know what I'm doing, you know. Um, so I definitely want to like try other products too, because I just get too comfortable because I don't do my makeup as much. But yeah, let's get into some things let's just chat it up right i'm gonna just talk like we on facetime so something that has been bothering me matter of fact it's not really bothering me matter of fact it's not bothering me oh uh, i would say maybe it worries me a little bit but i feel like after someone commented on it not you guys but like in real life in my life 
um i mean you comment in it's real life what am i saying but um uh, <laughs> someone's like kind of insinuated i'm not gonna say who obviously not like because what if you're watching count your days let me stop but someone insinuated that i was like kind of too old to be pregnant like <laughs> i mean is 30 too old to have a baby like let me know comment below is 30 too old to have a baby because i just celebrated a birthday on the 20th december 20th saggy gang you feel me sagittarius in the house um and i just turned 32 who's calling me i don't even know what i was saying but i kind of finished up this brow right here and i'm just gonna like blend it out in the front so it doesn't look so boxy because this is just how i do my brows um I, I don't know any other way right now and i just go through it like so to lighten up any of those dark areas to make it just look a little more realistic right and i take my beauty blender and i just it's kind of like swipe away by dabbing but not to make the line so harsh like that and those are my brows okay so yeah like i was saying because like um my husband just called so my bad but yeah um what i was saying was yeah so someone said that and i just want to know like is it you know am i too old but i just turned 32 and you know, I think, yeah, the age is 35. The age is 35 for the geriatric pregnancy. Um, 35 and over, you're higher risk. I have a couple of palettes to choose from. And maybe I'll just use this one because I just got it, the Naked palette. I was sent to me, so I guess I'll just use this, do a little brow. I mean, do a little shadow. Yeah, so I'm like, that's crazy because I'm not even 35. I mean, I got pregnant at 31 with my second child. And I'm already nervous. Like, I'm already nervous because, like, I just experienced a miscarriage a year ago. And I have Hashimoto's thyroidism, hypothyroidism. So, like, a couple of odds is against me already. And I'm just, I just be nervous in my life. Just, it really be stressing me out sometimes. Like, I was worried about the baby. I feel a little teary eye right now. I don't know why. <laughs> Woo. So maybe it's my pregnancy hormone. So I could have passed. But I just be a little like nervous. Like, is my baby going to be okay? Like, am I going to have my baby to full term? Because I know there's certain people that still have miscarriages in their second trimester. And things could still happen in the third trimester. And like, you don't even have to be in your 30s for things to happen. But I know like people in their 30s, like your ex start to decline. And then, like, after 35, it's higher risk, um, a preeclampsia, miscarriage, stillbirth, all of these things. So, it just be so nerve-wracking, you know? Like, everybody just being everybody uterus. Like, God. I just be feeling like God is just above all. Like, if God wants me to be pregnant, even if God wants me to be pregnant at 40, and I deliver healthy, strong baby, then that's just what it is. But everybody just be... Because I'll be hearing certain things on social media too. People be talking stuff. Um, which one I want to use? I think I want to just keep it nice and light. Maybe I'll use the brown. Road Crew right here. Road Crew in this palette. This is the Urban Decay Metal Mania. And I'm just using the thing that it came with. Um, Let me see if I can do this. I just look. Okay, it's not too bad. Um, Yeah, so I'm just like kind of like what is happening um so when that person kind of made that remark they weren't like so mean about it but it did kind of make me feel a little way like dang you know and then it's like what if i wanted to have another baby like obviously i'm gonna be even older than 32 like it's just you know i mean a couple it wasn't even just one person there was somebody else that did kind of say something to right hold you um, you know, everybody just always got something to say all the time. And I'm talking about like in my personal life. Um, in general too, social media, there's always something to say too. But 
Um, it is what it is. I mean, scientifically speaking, the best time to have a baby, they say, um, is late 20s, early 30s, right? Late 20s, early 30s. And um, what can you really do between that time? Late 20s, early 30s. Like, some people are not even set. You don't even know if you're going to find your soulmate during that time. Like, why are we so pressured to have a baby in our late 20s, early 30s? Right? I just want to blend this out because it's kind of harsher than I thought. Oh, and that's just like such a like small period of time. You what if you didn't even find your soulmate or, or someone to marry? You know, and then the pressure just starts to come on if you're in your late twenties and you can't even hold a man or or you just don't want to settle with now you're supposed to just have a baby out of wedlock and or like you know just because um so that you don't be too old. It just be too much. It's like society just be having too much pressure on you then, you know? Like we just we be just trying to do the best that we can, right? It just be too much, y'all. Um but I'm just grateful because haha in your face because I'm pregnant with my baby boy. <laughs> but whoever said that, count your pin days. Let me stop. But <laughs> I'm too sick for this. But yeah. Um, I'm just grateful because God is above all. It's like as long as you have faith and you just do what you need to do and what you gotta do for yourself, you know, and always keep the faith. I just feel like it it just it doesn't matter what anyone say or how anyone feels. Oh, that looks so much better. You know? The power of blending. The power of blending. Um, yeah. So I don't know. What y'all think? Y'all know anybody that had a baby in their 40s, healthy, pregnant, see, or past 35, because it was never that serious. I mean, like I said, scientifically speaking, but it's like, come on, like, you can barely take care of yourself in your 20s. You don't even know what life is to even be having ba a baby or babies to even be taking care of babies. Like, don't get me wrong, like, I know there's people that have children very early or even get married early right in their early early 20s and they have kids but everyone's life is different and i don't feel like we should not be pressured um to have babies early or when we're not even set in life and i feel like when that was said to me i feel like that was more so that person kind of like putting off they, they were they were deflecting you know, possibly because they didn't have a child. And then the other person, it was a, a male. The other one, the, one person was a female that didn't have kids yet. And then the other person was a male. And I just feel like sometimes men could just be a little, I'm going to use double kick, this light color right here. Males, some males could just be so insensitive, right? They could just be so freaking insensitive. But it is what it is. Because at the end of the day, I have my baby. My baby boy. <laughs> baby boy. So it is what it is. And I have my baby boy at 32. And I'm going to just keep all faith in God. Glory to God. God is an awesome God. And that's that. I'm nervous because what is even happening right now? I, I didn't expect. I mean, this is more like a sultry um, look here. I mean, it is nighttime. I said nighttime. It is like the colder months. So having a look like this is not too bad, I guess. I just got to do a little bit more blending. Because... I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know. I, I'm acting like one of the makeup girlies right now. Because what am I doing? I personally don't feel like 30 is too old. Or in your 30s. Because just because I'm in my 30s now. I'm just like. I mean I had Mila at 27. I got pregnant with her at 26. And I had her at 27. And I feel like that was a perfect age. You know. But then I still didn't even have my life together. 
you know. And I have my life somewhat together now. And I'm in my 30s. But I'm excited for my baby boy. But yeah, my family is excited. Lakeith is excited for the new addition that we have on the way. And I am currently 15 weeks. And I just can't wait to meet him. I just, I just really, what am I doing? Wrong brush. I just really want him to be here right now. I'm not gonna lie. I just be so like, geeked. Like I need him here now. <laughs> I'm excited also to start rearranging the room in our bedroom. We have to like make space for him. Let me first get into this. I think I'm gonna use my NARS foundation. Um, it's in the color medium five. Valencia Sheer Glow. This is uh, this might be too light though. I have a foundation brush. Um, how do you how do you put on foundation? <laughs> Oh my. Look y'all, it's too light, isn't it? Oh wait, I have that foundation from that company I worked with here too. This one, the Mix Mix Mixilio. But cuz this one might be too light. It's already I mean, it's not, I mean, I don't be going outside like that. I don't. Look at how I'm putting, I know how I'm putting on foundation. It can't be correct. Yeah, so I'm excited to start um, making space for him. Cause we're gonna do like a bedside nursery type of thing. We had thoughts of like putting him inside of Mila's room. I mean, Mila's room is a decent size, but I just feel like That'd just be too much. Um, especially like in the night or the middle of the night when we need to like um, change him. He, he'll be crying and then, you know, she has school. And I'll just be, I personally feel like that'll be too much. Waking her up, you know. And that's just gonna be too stressful for her. Cause I know how like babies are. Just from remembering with Mila, like, they have you up, especially like in the beginning when they're newborns. And we don't know how he's gonna be. If he's gonna have a colicky stomach. Like we don't we don't know. I'm gonna blend this out more because I look crazy. <laughs> I blend this out more in my beauty blender. But why is my camera talking about? It's overheating. Why? Cause I, I have too many lights. Let me blend this. I'll be right back. Okay, so I blended it out. I'm gonna use the NARS concealer in medium three. Praline is what it says from like under my eyes. Let's see. Hold on. I'm gonna do like a bedside nursery type of thing. I was thinking, um, make space for him in the room here. I feel like that probably might be like the best thing because yeah it's a two bedroom apartment here that we have and like it just is what it is until we move um I mean I would love to move again now we literally just moved <laughs> um this year like in April or me yeah we we literally just moved y'all um so like that's just a bit too much moving and a lot of y'all love to say oh streamer you're always moving um but yeah um yeah so gonna try to make it nice i've been thinking about like different ways to rearrange the bedroom to for him obviously like i might have to get rid of certain things not sure and um start shopping for like stuff i don't want to wait till too late you know um but i definitely want to i'm gonna use some laura Lurie, laura mercier setting powder i've already been looking for like strollers and um i haven't looked at like clothes and stuff yet because like i know for boys you can't just buy any old thing and put on the baby boy it's just different for boys for girls 
you could kind of like get away <laughs> with certain things it's just so right i don't know where to shop like i like now that i think about it i don't really know where to shop um, i'll figure it out though but like shopping is like literally the fun part this brush is leaving things on my face i don't want to use this brush i probably scrubbed that too hard but yeah um, so shopping is gonna be so much fun y'all i'm so excited for that and of course i'm gonna bring y'all along for the shopping i want to bronze up my face just a little bit just a little oh my gosh all all behind bronzer um <laughs> just use this brush here just kind of bronze up my face how how i seen that lady do it where she lifted see i'll be watching all type of thing i don't even remember what she did she kind of lifted let's just bronze up bronzy bronze this is a shimmery bronzer though more like for the summertime but it will be all right it will be all right and i think this one is by milani we've been thinking about baby names as well you know boys are different okay i look very bronze right now um i want to put a little highlighter this elf highlighter on my eyebrow bone just a little here just a little Who do I think I am? <laughs> Maybe a little pony nose. nose. I just realized I don't got no blush. Uh, I got some Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife. I'm gonna see if I could use that as some blush. Cause like, why I don't got no blush? You know what? I had a I had blush a long time ago, and I don't. Oh my god, this is so pretty. Um, I don't think I did. I don't think I really used it like that. But I need some cream blush. See, I was telling you I need to go makeup shopping because what is happening? Because I've been seeing so many like makeup tutorials with blush cream blush and i don't got none i mean this is definitely not really like an everyday look because of my eyes and all the shimmer um but yeah i'm gonna use the mac a real og chestnut lip pencil my lips not only look crusty because <laughs> because of the um foundation but i've been very um what is this from the dang brush I have been, uh, what is it called? Dehydrated from being sick. And my lips have been peeling. My lips has been peeling. Infant. My camera is picking up an infant. There's no baby. Are you picking up the baby that's in my belly? Y'all, let me show you real quick. I know I look crazy. I think I'm starting to show a little bit. Let me show you. I think I'm showing a little bit like right here. Do you see that? Mommy and Summer and even Lakeep said they've been seeing like I'm protruding more than before. <laughs> oh, we also want to get a bigger car, like an SUV, because right now we have a small car. Uh, I used to have the Honda Accord. Then I switched to the Honda Civic. I can't talk while doing this, I promise you, I can't. That looks stupid. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, I got PR, some two new uh, YSL lip lipsticks I got this one and that that is rogue rogue and it rogue what oh my gosh what is it this one here let me see okay it's like a nude Oh, it goes on so nice. Do y'all see that? It goes on so nice. What is happening? 
Oh, it feels so nice. And it smells like berries. And then my mom, she just got me the Anastasia Beverly Hills Deep Taupe Lip Gloss. Fire. So I just put that over. Oh, it almost matches. And this smells absolutely, this smells like cake. It reminds me of the MAC lip glosses. Do y'all see my lips? Besides this catastrophic part over here. Oh, yeah. This is so nice. I look the good. So I want to set my face with the Milani, make it last. Oh my goodness, my hair. So I'm going to put back on my um, cap. The only thing I probably wouldn't have done was <laughs> make my eyeshadow so dark, but it's okay. It's a look either way. What is going on? That makeup brush. I'm never using that makeup brush again. It got like all these little pieces on my face. Oh my gosh, this looks so freaking good. I just need some lashes. I'm gonna try something dramatic. Maybe this uh, Kiss Matte Black Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection. It's, it's like a 3D volume. Normally I do like more natural lashes because like I, I don't know, I just do. I'd be just nervous to try. I, I don't know why, I'd just be nervous. My hair, oh my God, I look crazy. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. So I just put on the lashes to the best of my ability. I'm not so great at putting on lashes, um, but the dramatic look actually looks really nice and it covered up like that very extra dark shadow that I had going on. So I'm just trying to push it together a little. Um, one eye always comes out better. Like the right lashes are looking so much better, but they're not bad at all. Like having dramatics is really good. Like I need to do that more often. So now I need to get into doing my hair. And um, because my edges are like messed up, um, I think I am going to do my edges a little, like pull my hair up a little. Kind of do like this little half of that down. When you're seeing this video, Christmas probably already passed. So what did you do for Christmas? Like I know I'm gonna spend it with my family. I'm really excited for that. Um, I hope your Christmas went well. I am excited for the new year. I'm always excited for the new year. Like I remember I used to dread the new years when I was younger. I didn't have like much of a love life and I was always like so sad and like ever since I've been with Lakeith I just love my new years. Like knowing that I have this person with me that I'm just gonna be with every year. <laughs> That you could just feel it and know it. Hold on, let me clip this out of the way. Um, oh my goodness, I'm crazy. Let me see if I can find this. I got way too much going on here. Just tease my hair forward a little. Oh, I like that. Yeah, like this. Just this satin scrunchie. And first I'm gonna do a loose a loose pony so I could do my edges. The slick and slay. The slick and slay. Um and edge edge brush. Yeah, so I'm excited for the new year. Um, I have goals, of course. I do not like to share my my goals because people love to steal people's goals. I don't know what that's about. The same way they love to steal your baby names, they love to steal your goals. Because <laughs> that's happened to me. Baby names have been stolen in the past and goals have been stolen. People just don't got freaking minds of their own. I don't know. 
But yeah, um, a couple of just goals on the surface that I've kind of already spoken about. Like I want to start exercising while pregnant. Um, my OB GYN said it was okay. And she put me, she want to put me on baby aspirin. I didn't take it though, because I'm just going to work out. Um, I don't have preeclampsia, but cause I'm overweight, she said, and black women are more prone to preeclampsia. She said, um, I just want to start working out so I can have a healthy delivery, a healthy pregnancy. So that's really my goal, um, just to be more healthier overall. Um, eating wise, I don't really have an eating regimen. Like y'all, I just got over vomiting, okay? I just got into my second trimester not too long ago, and I still be vomiting sometimes when, even though I'm in my second trimester, I still be vomiting when things just don't agree with me. Like, I'll try something and it'll just be like, the baby be like, no. I don't want this mommy what are you doing to me so i still vomit sometimes now and when i'm sick i vomit um when i have mucus on my chest it makes me vomit so honestly i don't have i want to do a what i eat in a day while pregnant but i can't because i don't really know what i eat it just goes off of the day like sometimes i don't even eat that much and I don't even know how the baby be surviving because I take my vitamins or whatever, but like I don't eat that much. And I just I'm just so funny with food right now, and I can't wait until I get out of the picky stage. I just can't wait um, for that. But yeah, um, but I definitely want to start working out, and then obviously working out, I'll probably pick up like an appetite. But I just want to be healthy. That's my main thing. Um, I also want to, for the new year, or I should say for 2024, I just want to start to be more consistent with my YouTube. Um, I just want to be a lot, like, more consistent. Um, I've been struggling with content. Like, I don't know what to post half the time. And I guess that's where the creative bone has to come in to play. Y'all all be asking for, like vlogs all the time but it's like sometimes i don't have anything to vlog like and i know y'all be like oh it don't matter you could be doing nothing but it's just like i just can't sit here and just do nothing you know and like even me doing this get ready with me right now like i feel like that's so different for me and it's like out of my comfort zone in a sense because like i'll just get ready with myself and like i'm fully like getting ready with y'all <laughs> right now um so yeah, um, hopefully we get a new vehicle, the SUV, just to have really have space for like two car seats now too. Um, just to have more of a back space, um, more back space like in the trunk. And okay, I found some here. So yeah, um, I really want to do that. So I know God is gonna bless bless us with a new vehicle with more space, of course. I just wanna prosper, you know? Um, I definitely wanna just succeed with my content creating, have a healthy baby, you know the vibes, you know the vibes. Um, yeah. So what are some of your goals for 2024? Um, oh my goodness, I feel like a little, a little girl. Hold on, maybe I should have pulled this back some. Should I, maybe I should, yeah, I'm gonna pull it back some, hold on. So I just pulled, <laughs> pulled it back, this looks so much better. My hair has gotten so long, I can't even get the whole thing in. Uh, I am going to spray my hair with the Trust Me Extra Hole. And I would do like some curls, but I don't want to add any more heat to my hair. I did add a lot of heat to my hair. Show you the bag. So for earrings, I don't know what I should do. Let's see. 
Uh, we could do some Bottega dupes. Some Bottega dupes. Let's see how that would look. Mind you, I'm only getting ready to do film another video. Uh, we got why them look so? Oh, okay. Um, the Bot Bottega dupes. Or I could do some hoops. We're feeling like gold today, right? Because the shimmer. Why not? We got these hoops that I just got from Forever 21. Ugh, damn. So harsh. I don't know which one should I do. Hoop? Or this little. Mm, hoop or. Maybe the. The Bottega dupe. Hold on. Let's see. Yeah, I, I like this better. For the look a necklace would be nice but i ain't going nowhere so it's all right it's okay and for fragrance i just got this set in pr it's the new ysl gold collection do y'all see that because i have a ysl libre already but this is a limited edition right here and it smells so good. It's so grown and sexy. Woo! Oh my goodness. It's like a nice refreshing scent. Like. I just feel it looks so grown and sexy right now. Like, oh my goodness. It's just, it smells so good. Y'all. I am done. I am complete. And I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me. Like this is like officially like a get ready with me. Like I really just did my entire face. Tried a couple of new things with y'all. Let me know what you think. Oh, what do you think about this look? Are you digging it? Are you digging the whole look? <laughs> Your girl's still sick, oh my God. Thumbs up the video if you like this chit chat. Get ready with me. Um, don't forget to comment down below. Let's chat it up. I'm going to be reading the comments. Um, if you want to see more get ready with me, thumbs up the video. That'll let me know. I'm really like psyched and geeked out like for this video. Like it's so different for me, y'all. Like so different. But yeah, um, I'm ready to go out. Let me stop. <laughs> Bay's at work. I'm about to go and film another video. So you're going to see me looking like this in another video too. So yeah, you guys, thank you so much for watching today. I hope that you made it to this point. Um, subscribe if you're new and I will see you in the next one. Bye.